Shout out to Money Brown, Eric. Enjoy your boy Money Brown. He get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? Well, this your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on the former three-division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, and the current W.O. welterweight world champion, Terrence T. Bud Crawford, firing back at Bob Earn for his comments about um, he don't make him money and he lost money on him. And, you know, T. Bud came back and he fired off on Bob Earn, man, as you feel me, like he's supposed to do. You know what I mean? He's supposed to fire back off on his ass when he talks shit about me. And I've been over here in your stable making your ass money. It ain't my fault that you weren't promoting me right. You feel me? It ain't my fault that you was giving the wrong person the money to get into the ring with me. And that's just a fact. But I want to try to check out what Bud had to say about old janky ass Bob Iron Man. Check it out. If he feel that way, you know what I mean? He can release me now. You know what I mean? Like, you can just release me. If you feel like, you know... You don't have no, you know what I mean? I'm not an asset to your company. I mean, you release me right now. You don't, you don't have to wait till after a Spence fight. Why do you have to wait till after a Spence fight? You know what I mean? Release me now and you, you don't have to lose me now. You know what I mean? If, if, I'm, if I'm such of a, a loss, a headache, you know what I mean? Like, now as y'all can see, Bud fired back at him. He said, let me go. You know what I'm saying? Release me from my contract. Don't wait till after Earl Spence fight. But, Bud, what you're not understanding is he waiting to cash out on your ass after the Earl Spence fight. That's what he waiting on. And then he go release you. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. You feel me? Depending on what happened in that Earl Spence fight, if Bud lose, he, a, he, he done with top rank. You know, he go use your ass up and kick you to the side. But he know the Earl Spence pay-per-view fight is the big boy. Bob Irm is smart, man. He know the Earl Spence fight with Bud Crawford is the big boy. And you think he want to miss out on that money? You feel me? He's not letting Bud go. He's not going to let him go until he see that he can't get a Earl Spence or a Manny Pacquiao. Right now, if he, if he did lose money on Bud promoting him, the Earl Spence and the Manny Pacquiao fight is going to bring some of that bread back. You feel me? The Earl Spence and the Manny Pacquiao fight is going to bring some of that bread back one way or another. And until Bob Irm see that you really can't get either either or, Manny Pacquiao or Spence, then he'll think about letting you go. But until then, as long as those two fights are on the table and it's a possibility, he's not fit to release you out your contract. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing, if he do release you out the contract, you still have to get paid off what he owed you. You know, if he's releasing you out your contract, it's a different thing if you want to buy yourself out your contract. But for him to release you, and he's, he's not just going to release you without getting anything. You know what I'm saying? And if you get, if you owe a certain amount of money, and if it's on him to release you, then he has to pay you. You see? But right now, dog, he's not letting you go. He's not going to let you go. Because he's going to try to get as much money off you as he could on the way out the door. He know that's guaranteed. Like, if Bud don't fight Spence, in my opinion, it's guaranteed wins for Bud with whomever he fight at 147. Even with Sean Porter, even with Thurman, even with Danny, I feel like Bud still beat them all. Even though I feel like Porter has the better chance to beat them, Keith Thurman has a chance as well, and Danny has a chance as well. I ain't gonna count Danny out, but I, I, I favor Bud of all three. And I'm not saying that he get those fights. Yeah, you know I mean we see what's going down, but I'm just saying, whomever Bud faces at 147, whether it's um, Jose Ramirez, whether it's Josh Taylor that's coming up. You know what I mean? Whether you can get one of the, the, the top prospects, Boots and his Virgil Ortiz, whomever, whomever, right? I feel like Bud is going to win. Bob Arm knows Bud is going to win, you know? So he want to cash out as much as he could before he let Bud go, before he let him go. That's why he's not really trying to put him on pay-per-view. To put him on pay-per-view, you got to come out your pockets. Listen to me. To put Bud Crawford on pay-per-view, you have to come out of your pockets. And Bob is not trying to come out of his pockets. Why do you think he said it was a group of people that put the money up for, for Bud and Manny Pacquiao? Why do you think the, the fucking fighters in a Muslim country? And I love my Muslim brothers and sisters. Because they are willing to put the money up for a Manny Pacquiao fight. You know, they're willing to put the money up for it. Just like Eddie Hearn get the fights over in Dubai. And things of that nature with, 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 with fucking Anthony Joshua and things like that. You know, in an Arab country somewhere. Because he know that all money is real. 
you know what I'm saying? Saudi Arabia, you know, those type of princes and, and kings and shit, they have a lot of money, dog. They have a lot of money. Fucking billionaires. And they love to entertain their country. They love to have big fights, big shows happening in their country. So they will pay for it, many Pacquiao and the turns will cross for fight. And Bob knows that. That's why he had the fight signed, sealed, and delivered, because they was going to put the money up for it. But Bob wasn't coming out of his motherfucking pockets with no 20, 30 million to, to pay um, Bud and Pacquiao and, 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 and hope to get that back on the back end of pay-per-view. He's not going to do that shit. You feel me? Because he don't believe the ticket's going to sell like that. He don't believe the pay-per-view is going to sell like that. He don't believe that the, you know, the, the, the events and things of that nature is going to sell to where you recoup that money back. It's a lot that going to that money, fam. The merchandise, the the food, it's a lot that going to $20 million in, in the big pay-per-view fight. And you got to make sure you're touching every aspect to recoup your money back with interest. You understand? And Bob Earn been in the game long enough that he don't feel that Bud would do that for him. He don't feel that, but he, he, he's afraid to take a chance. That's what I'm saying. He's afraid to take a chance with Terrence Bud Crawford. He's afraid to take a fucking chance to see. You know what I mean? And I believe Bud and Manny will do it, dog. I believe they will do it. But what it is, he has lost money in the past, and he feel like if he if he take that big jump with Manny Pacquiao, it's a dent in his pockets. Y'all got to understand, 20 and $30 million is a lot of fucking money, man. That's a lot of fucking money. Just say he put 30 and you make back 17, 19. You see what I'm saying? That shit is a loss. It's a loss. The fighters are A-OK -okay because they getting paid. But for us, the promoter, you putting that money up, you looking like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Or let's just say you break even. You still haven't made shit. You know what I mean? You still haven't made shit. And the promoter is looking to at least grab $10 million or $15 million for something like that. You know what I'm saying? If not more. If not more. You feel me? So when they can't go out there and, and, and get them a lump sum, they not going to fuck around like that. And Bob Earn most definitely not going to fuck around like that. You feel me? But turns Bud Crawford clapped back at him. I like what he did. I like what he said. But now it's up to you to see what his relationship go with Bob Earn from her on out. Because this shit fit to be tricky now. This shit fit to be tricky now. Because Bud is that type of dude that... Once you say some fucked up shit about him, you got to stand on it. He real. Bud is a trill Negro, man. He's a trill Negro from Omaha. He real. See, Bob never said this shit flat out like that. Even though he was feeling like that, he never came out and said it flat out like that. But now that he's saying it flat out, you feel me? And I'm quite sure Bo Mack and Bud knew that how Bob feel. I'm quite sure they knew. But they couldn't really just put that on. You don't want to just put a jacket on a man. You don't want to just put a jacket on a man. You feel me? So they waited, and now they got it up out of Bob ass, the truth, how he really feel. Because Bob feels some type of way about Lomachenko losing to Teofimo, man. You got to understand, he put all his eggs in the basket with Lomachenko. He really did. He's really feeling some way about that shit, dog. Trust and believe me when I tell y'all this shit. So now he looking at Terrence Bud like, I don't give a fuck about you, man. I don't care about you. I knew what I had, and I knew what I could have marketed with Lomachenko if he would have beat fucking... Um, if he would have beat motherfucking Ted Fimo and became undisputed, um, um, lightweight undisputed champion at lightweight, he know what he could have marketed Lomachenko as, but he can't do that with Terrence Bud because he don't know how to tap into that fucking culture. With Lomachenko, he can play that European culture like the back of his hand. He can play them European countries, he can play them um, Muslim countries, and he can do that type of shit because he know how to mingle with those people. He don't know how to mingle with the black people. And this is not no racist shit. This is a, these are actual facts that I'm spitting. These are actual facts. You feel me? He don't know how to mingle with the black crowd like he could with the European and, 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 and uh, um, Arab countries and things of that nature. Because he don't want to. He's stuck in his ways. He don't want to. You feel me? And then hell bug career back. As good as Terrence Boyd Crawford is, and yes, we call him a number one pound for pound fighter, it still held his career back. It still held his career back. That's why he ain't big as he should be right now. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's not bigger than what he should be right now. And that's just a fact, dog. But I'm happy Bud shot back at his ass. I'm looking forward to see where Bud go from her. We see this was on the zone. We know Eddie Hearn, they trying to make a pitch for Bud now. You know, Bud made a statement about Earl Spence, and I'm coming with a video after this. But, you know, the zone is going to chase Bud down now. You know, so shit go get tricky with Bud and Earl Spence, especially what Terrence Bud Crawford been saying lately, especially what he been saying lately. 
and I got that video coming next. But salute to Turnsville Crawford for standing on this square, saying, fuck you, Bob Erm. Release me out my contract if you feel like I lost you money. Period. Release me out this motherfucker, and I ain't got to be a headache for you. You ain't got to worry about me. You can focus on Shakur. You can focus on T.O. and whomever else in the stable. But I'm about this motherfucker. You feel me? And that's what he should have said in his face and stand on that shit. And stand on that shit. Until then, it's your boy Monty. This the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Trey the 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If you can't, just tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. And y'all know what it is, man. Big dog status.